What's up, Survivalist Optimum FN here, and thanks for hanging out with me today, and welcome back to Icarus. Oh yeah, bud, we're back here with some more Icarus content for you. If you guys have missed any of my previous Icarus videos, I'll leave a playlist up in the top corner. Make sure to go and check them out. If this is your first time visiting the channel, consider subscribing for more content. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for your continued support, and to show your support, make sure to hit that like button. All right, so we are back here with some Icarus content for you guys. Uh, we are on our rifle build here. We are at level 33. Uh, I think this video we are going to get into the uh, uh, Ice Storm Expedition here. Um, last episode we did a Headstone Geo Survey. It was pretty quick, easy, easy currency. Uh, this one here starts getting into the Arctic. I've had a few uh, people comment on some previous videos uh, wanting some information and easier ways to uh, complete this one. You need to complete this one to get to the deep vein, which gets you your exotics, which you're going to need in the workshop. So let's get into the Ice Storm Expedition and let's uh, bang this bad boy out here real quick. So, seems the UDA has noticed you. Told Lagos unit to offer you this one direct. They want Arctic territory opened up. Whole new zone, untouched, uncharted, and seriously unsafe. Some wild weather patterns happening in there, which has got Group 15 interested too. But upside is, it pays real good. But it ain't a walk in the park. What do you think? I don't know, Saul. I don't know what to think. You say it pays real good. It's only 125 currency, but we'll take it. Uh, for this one, I am going to take, we really don't need gold and copper for this one. Um, but I'm going to take this pickaxe just in case I want to uh, use it. Uh, we got our bow. Let's see, we got our knife, campfire, axe, uh, bow, and then there are two pickaxes. And then two dampen modules for movement speed. I always take these. Uh, these are the best two modules in my opinion. Uh, and I got uh, the physical resistance suit, two mod slots, oxygen, oxygen slots, water slot, and perceived threat. So let's claim this one and let's get into this mission here. Here we go. Welcome down, friend. Lego's unit want access to new territory, but it ain't going to be simple. There's heavy weather, freezing temperatures, and God knows what else over there on the ice. And there's more. Group 15's got meteorological tech they want tested up there. But the last storm scattered the drop drones to hell. You need to find them, fix them, set it up somewhere safe, and run a test fire during a storm. Good news is... Looks like terraforming threw the region into some kind of storm loop. I told you this one was wild. Check your map for markers, then do what you gotta do. Oh yeah, we're gonna check our map here in just a second. Just trying to get enough uh, fiber here for our uh, our uh, armor here. All right, we got enough of that. We're all kitted out for that. Now, I do recommend uh, you being level uh, 25 for this one. Um, you are going to need um, to unlock on tier two. You are gonna need the uh, the fur, ar uh, fur armor. It does make it a lot easier. Do you need it? No, you could go with the leather, but I haven't unlocked leather. Uh, I just did the uh, the first one here the cloth and then the fur as well uh, I recommend now I have done this with out of wood but I do recommend uh, getting the uh, the masonry table uh, to help you out as well so we're just gonna collect some uh, some resources here we can make some stuff we're gonna get some oxide here and uh, we're gonna start heading over to uh, this location here uh, this is where we got to go, uh, but I like to stay in this starting area uh, to get uh, my fur and get uh, 
my masonry table and all that stuff going. So let me get some resources going. Let me build a shack and let's get uh, things started here and uh, working towards the Arctic here. All right, this one starts you off pretty late in the day. So the first thing I recommend you guys doing is uh, getting your fur. Because if you want to be able to sleep through the first night, you need your fur and you need your bag. Uh, and then start focusing on everything else um, after that. Uh, but definitely get your definitely get your fur and shit before it gets dark. I was able to get enough fur with the knife that I have um, to get that going for the first day. I was able to get enough uh, resources for everything else. But I'm just making a shack here uh, to get through the first night doesn't need to be this big it can be a one by one uh i plan on extending this out here a little bit bigger because i got to get everything in here but what is that i don't know if that's a wolf or i don't know what it is shock oh it's a fucking rabbit uh let's go ahead and get our bag here we got our campfire and we got everything else to uh to get through the night here and we should be good to go. I got enough wood. I got enough everything else. So let's get through the night. And uh, next time you guys see me, we are going to uh, be moving forward with uh, getting over to the Arctic. I'm going to head up some caves, get some resources, and uh, get a bunch more stuff here uh, so we can start heading over to the uh, Arctic area. All right, guys, it's the end of the, uh, the first day. I technically say it's the first day. Um, uh, in game because it spawns you in late with this game on this mission on this mission excuse me uh, I got a lot accomplished uh, in one day I got oxide machine herb bench uh, for the cave uh, to make uh, antidotes textile bench I got a, a cooking station fridge and uh, furnace and anvil so you got a lot done the first day uh, I want to go ahead and start crafting up this fur armor here because we are gonna need that. So we got our fur armor. Let's go ahead and get that equipped here. Um, let's destroy all this stuff. Because we do not need it anymore. All right, so slot those in. We're gonna need more air. So we do not need any more rope. I do need um, a little bit more wood for the uh, for the masonry uh, bench. Uh, so we're gonna need that. Um, but that is pretty much all of that stuff uh, going there. I got meat cooking here. Uh, we got plenty, I gotta get some ice for the fridge, but we got plenty of uh, wild salad now you don't need this wild salad and uh, fruit salad um, it does help now the uh, wild salad it's good for exposure resistance uh, so that's good in the Arctic um, to protect you there uh, I'm gonna throw this stuff up in the fridge I'm gonna go get some ice to stick in there um, for that slot this wood up there I need some more wood and we should be good to go I just need to get the masonry table and then we can head up to the arctic once i um uh, craft up all the uh all the foundations and uh stone stuff the stone definitely does help again you do not need the stone in the arctic as long as you got a hammer uh but for this storm that you have to sit through it does help to have stone it'll save you a lot of hassle so i recommend using stone uh if you can I also planted these uh, crop beds. You don't need these. You can find this stuff out there. Uh, but if you find a piece and you're not finding any, you can plant this stuff up to make the salads. Again, you don't need the salads, but they do help. Uh, we're going toward the, to, to the Arctic. So let me go ahead and get some ice for that fridge because uh, we're probably going to take that with us. Uh, and then let me get the rest of this stuff for this masonry bench. Got a 
bear here. Running uh, up in this pass. Just got to kite him around a little bit. Just hit him one shot. Run the opposite way. I'm just going to skid him. I really don't need anything off of him. I'll take this meat just in case. Actually, I'm going to take a... Uh, in case I need to make some more arrows. Uh, but we're heading uh, up into this pass here. As you can see, we started here. We're heading up into into here. Uh, and actually, our first uh, our first locations over this way. And then you got to go into the Arctic here. So let me get over here real quick. All right, we made it over here to this location. Let's go ahead and grab this component. Sweet. We got that. Now we got to head into the Arctic here. There's two spots. I know you can barely see them, but there's one there and there's one here. So we're going to mark that. We're going to head up. I heard another bear. It's either a bear or a... Something else. Yeah, there he is. Fucking bear. If you stay behind him, they won't, uh... You won't get aggro from him, so just, uh... If you don't want to fuck with them, just run up behind them and they won't sniff you out. But there are a lot of bears in this area, so be careful. Make sure you got plenty of stamina. And I'm going to go ahead and eat this uh, wild salad before it gets... Uh, too decayed and we can't eat it because those do not spoil so and we got winter weather here so this is not a good thing you do not want winter weather so um yeah we know Saul That's why I'm here, Saul. I'm here for you guys. Um, but yeah, you do not want to get up in here with the storm. Uh, so if you start taking exposure, uh, take the exposure because you have to stay in this area to uh, to get the storm to pass. So I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna get the storm to go away, and then we're gonna get up into the Arctic here. So all right, the storm's almost over. So we're just gonna we're gonna start ahead and then. The polar bear straight ahead. Now, if we stay behind him like the other bears and stuff, we should be all right. So we're just gonna hug this right wall here, and we are good to go. He didn't spot us. I'm gonna pick up some wood. Now there are a few caves here in the art in this part of the Arctic. Um, if you need to get out of a storm or you can just drop your your shelter in a safe spot it's a cave right there if you need to duck into that to get out of the storm but as long as you got your fur you should be good to go now you can't like I said you can't come in here with cloth but you're gonna freeze uh, you're gonna get cold a lot easier but as long as you have the fur, you should be good. If you compare that with the wild salad, even better. I think we got one wild salad left. So I'm trying to save it until I absolutely need it. I got some carrots. We got meat and we got the, uh, what is that salad? Fruit salad. Now be careful of these, uh, these cracks in the ground. You can't fall in them. All you got to do is hit escape and do unstuck, but if you can't get out of one. We're going to uh, head over here. We got 22 ice, so we got plenty of ice for food and stuff. 
Let's go ahead and eat a piece of meat. We are getting hungry. And we could probably eat a fruit salad too. Now what I like to do is get up in here a little bit and uh, put my uh, put my little shack, my stone shack up here a little bit. That way you ain't got to run as far. So just be careful of uh, polar bears. They do like to spawn. You can be walking right along and they spawn right next to you, so. Just be careful of that. There's really nowhere to uh, to hide. If you need to run down into a, a crack in the ground. Or run into a cave if you have that. Huh. If you have that opportunity, but. Most of the time you can spot these polar bears, so. All right, well, we're close. We got a storm coming in. We're gonna set up a shack over here. Get past this. Up, oh, and I fell down into one. All right, we're gonna set up our shack right here since we got a storm coming in. Let's go nine. Let's get this put down. Get our walls here. And you know what I forgot to make is a door. <laughs> I did not bring a door with me. So we might have a problem here because I don't have any sticks or no fiber. I need fiber. Ugh. Mistake. Let's see if this uh this fireplace will start to take damage on durability. Might have to uh go get some uh some fiber. Well, it's not taking a uh it's not taking a hit on durability. The closer we get to this door, it's gonna take start taking a a hit to durability. And we might be able to uh, get away with it here. We're gonna try it. So let's put our fridge down. Get as close as we can here. See if uh, we're gonna eat this. We'll leave these on us just in case. Alright, so you're good. Oh, it says no it says no shelter. That's not good. Storm exposure. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Storm exposure, no shelter. There we go. We stand right here in this corner. We're good. Alright, let me get through the storm and see if we can get rid of this bullshit here. Alright, guys, I ran out and, uh, Got some fiber, made the door. As I was running back, I ran into a storm and uh, went into a rock and uh, thought the storm, well, the storm was pretty much over. Uh, so I was like, ah, I can make it. So my meat ran out and meat regenerates your health. And uh, so I was taking cold damage and we got another fucking storm. Uh, we're gonna grab this box real quick grab this component get that one done head back to the base here uh, but I started taking cold damage because uh, I ran all, out of all my food I put all my food in the uh, the ice box like a like a dumbass uh, so don't do that don't put all your food <laughs> in your ice box keep it on you even if it spoils and ouch ah great now we are really screwed here uh delete that um jesus the first half of this video started to go was was great everything i was getting things done got everything done by the first day in it day and a half now it's just it's become a fucking struggle um break my fucking leg 
Um, so I got stuck in, as soon as I got to right here in the corner of the base, <laughs> I, uh, I died. Yeah. So I didn't have my bed down because there wasn't a door and the bay, the bed would have, uh, um, disintegrated, would have decayed, uh, cause it didn't have no shelter. Um, so while we wait out the storm. So yeah, it's been, uh, spawned back at the base. Had to run all the way back out here with nothing on me. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, I was like, fuck it, I'm just running all the way over here with nothing. So, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been fun. Um, usually this, mi this mission isn't that hard. <laughs> I've just been making some stupid decisions. Um, there's a lot of storms in this mission, so it's, storms are going to pop up all the damn time. Uh, we need, uh, O2. So, be mindful of that. We need water. All right, so let me uh, get this storm to pass by. We'll get filled up on this water and we'll <laughs> let our, our broken bone fucking heal. I told you, watch out for those trenches. They, uh, you can fall down into one, you can break your leg. Um, but let's get through this storm and we'll head and get this last component and get this mission done. All right, this storm is pretty much done here. We're gonna, we're gonna make a run for it. You know, we got a polar bear right there. See if we can scoot around this bad boy here yeah i know we're already cold and we got fur fur armor and we got our wild salad here so we gotta head way up over here to get this last one go ahead and mark it on the map there it is way up there don't run down into there keep up uh to the right side of this cliff here. How's that polar bear? Way the fuck back there. I'm hoping I can get out here and not get another storm by the time I uh, get back. Try not to deplete my stamina either because it takes a minute to to come back too, so. Ugh. Here we go. Get our stamina back. We're not cold anymore, so. We'll get a little bit more stamina back. You gotta get up here. There's plenty of oxide and stuff out here. Oxide. Um, oh, nice. Oxide, uh, salt, and uh, oxide, sulfur. All that stuff's out here. Should be up here on the, on the top of this, uh, Top of this ridge here. Hopefully there's no polar bears. As soon as you come around the corner, that would suck. There she is. Last component here. The thing you're looking for, apparently, it's uh, some kind of sonic device. Releases a burst of infrasonic sound, supposed to disrupt the storm cell, break it up, settle the weather patterns up here. I'll believe it when I see it. Settle the weather pa weather patterns, huh? Fucking polar bears right there. Come down off that that ledge, I almost broke my ankle again. Uh, don't want to break your ankle out here. And here we go with another storm. Back to back. I'm telling you, these storms are no joke out here. <laughs> no joke. Let's get back and crap this bad boy up. All right, we made it back in here safe and sound. Let's get this thing crafted up. Once you have all three components, go to your crafting tab. Craft this acoustic cannon here.
Oh, it's charging up and we're waiting, so we're just going to stand here next to this fire because it's going to take a minute to get to 100%. Obviously, it's got to be active during the storm, so we're just going to let this thing run and let it get to 100% and start making our way back to our pod. All right. That was loud as fuck. self-destructed oh. so huh. I gotta wait out of the storm now but that's done so I'm sitting here waiting for this thing to go and apparently this roof fucking disappeared it's clearing. yeah so it's clearing I'm still in the storm bro um so yeah I had to go out and get some fucking wood uh, cause I didn't have enough to make a damn floor piece to stick up there and uh i had to restart this thing all over again Ugh, it was at like 50 or 60 percent and i was like why do i have to reactivate this thing yeah so <laughs> second half of this mission has been uh a hell of a fucking time just make sure you got enough uh resources on you to repair shit build shit if you need to Make sure you come with a fucking door. <laughs> Jeez and rice. It all started with the damn missing a damn door. Yeah, I don't bother to repair these things till like they get really bad. You know, you can repair the whole thing, get it back up to a thousand with one hit with the hammer. So get through this fucking storm start making our way back to this drop pod well we made it back to our pod here but what a what a day um let's see we need to take these off throw you guys up in there we got everything else on us so we're good to go let's return to orbit and complete this bad boy here get it done objectives complete Get our ribbons here. Get back and get our currency unlocked. Yeah, buddy. Oh, pickaxe. Select our character here and delete. Claim 125. All right, we're back up to a thousand here. We should have everything back on us. Yep, we're good to go. All right. Woo! That was uh, that was fun. <laughs> Hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit, uh, explaining some stuff, how to get it done a little bit easier. I know some people are having issues on it, so I figured I'd put out a, a video for you guys on this uh, expedition for you. But I think that's going to wrap up this episode here. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the episode. Also, feel free to check out the link in the description for my socials. Stay up to date with the things I do outside of gaming. Uh, we'll be back here. We're going to do the deep vein extraction the next time. Uh, unlock some exotics. Show you guys an easy way to do that, how I run that um, uh, mission there. Uh, I know there's some videos out on YouTube, but uh, I run it a little bit different. Uh, it's it's yeah, it's all right. I like it. I enjoy it. Helps me out. Uh, it usually takes me about ten minutes, but we'll get that done next episode. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.